This is Piers Morgan Live. Right, I mean, it's been devastating to you and your career. You've had concerts cancelled all over the place. Um, I would imagine a very turbulent time for you. What many of your, of your fans are saying is they don't really understand why you would want to put any kind of comments like that in the public domain, not least of which because you once came out as bisexual yourself. So they'd no, no comprehension that you would be remotely homophobic. Have you become homophobic? Over, I'd say, the last 10, 12 years, I've enjoyed such a degree of independence and, and freedom. I can basically do whatever I want. I don't have minders or managers telling me what to do. And I've adopted a course that's not the orthodox one where I say that there's only two things you don't discuss in polite company. One is politics and the other is religion. Mm -hmm. And I make a point of talking about both. And the clip that we just listened to, it sounds quite serious-minded, but it was at the start, as I said, of the encore and... Um, but you lost the audience. I mean, I, that's why I said I listened Not to the then, whole thing. Not then, but later on, yeah. I mean, they, most of them began to walk out and were very unhappy about it and wanted their money back and so on. But I repeat the question, really. I mean, are you basically, when you said what you said, it sounds, on the face of it, to be pretty obvious and clear homophobia. Are you homophobic? Yeah, on the, on the, um, on the surface, it sounds really bad. Um, it's not really a point worth making, but the show is supposed to be live, not recorded. And well, the what other difference would that make? To me, it's an important difference, but I don't think we have time to go into it right now. When you read it in the transcript, which I've gone back and created, mm. um, I can do a couple of things to show you and highlight. Well, look, let's try and keep this simple for the audience, because right. you, you were born a Mormon, you converted to, uh, to become a born-again Christian, and many Christians have views about gays and about gay marriage and other issues. Are you somebody that, that objects to a gay lifestyle and to gay marriage? If the question is asked to make things simple for the audience, and I believe you that it is, I'd like to make it even simpler. I am, for the last 10 years, so deeply in love with a man that the idea of living my life without him is impossible. Right. I know how much I love him, and knowing that passion that I have for him, would I ever want to deny that to anyone else? Absolutely not. So you're not homophobic? If you want to keep this simple for the audience, let me just give you a straight no, I'm not homophobic.